guys i have basically been sick like i don't even know from stomach upset to now having headache i don't even i'm just so i'm over it i just want to take like paracetamol which i have here to just help with the headache like i remember i think before when i was younger when i have like headaches i used to have severe headaches and migraines when i was younger i tried to endure the pain and ensure that you know i allow my body like get rid of the headache now that i am much older and i'm actually a doctor <laughs> i don't do that i don't do that when i feel headaches when i feel pain i take drugs to help relieve myself from the pain <laughs> like at least i take paracetamol but yeah just want to take this medicine and just feel better we need to sort out what i'm going to eat i've not spoken in this vlog and this is the first thing i'm coming to say but then this is honestly just just how i feel <laughs> it's a sunday evening by the way yeah how are you guys doing let me take my drugs and i will come back and talk to you i didn't feel myself taking it i feel like it's still in my throat I feel like the medicine is still my truth. I didn't, I didn't feel myself taking the drug because I actually hate, I hate taking drugs and I hate watching people swallow medicine. It makes me cringe, but oh, hopefully this will make me feel better. There's a dog back in. Just let it be, honestly. I'm wearing this cap so that I look, I look decent for you people. I don't show you my hair. Although there's nothing wrong with my hair, but I just don't want it out. So I'm wearing this cap. The room looks dark. Yeah. Some of the bulbs are dead. yeah two bulbs are dead or oh, three three bulbs are dead so it's quite dark anyways let me go make my spaghetti i want to actually eat spaghetti so let us go to that <laughs>
Hi guys. I want to prepare and go out. It is already 12 noon. I was waiting to get feedback before I go out. I want to go and do a couple of things. I have a couple of errands I want to run today, but I don't know if I'll be able to do all. Honestly. I need to get a new battery for my laptop. The battery on my laptop is bad, so I need to replace it. So I was waiting to get feedback from someone in Banex. That's the electronic market here in Abuja. And the person actually said that the, he does not have the battery. So I contacted someone else and that person said they have it. But well, now the first person now says, oh, he has found someone that has it. So regardless, I just need to change the battery of my laptop. That's what I need to go do. That's the first thing and most important thing for me to do today actually. So, the first person told me that it is 65,000 and this person, this person I bought my laptop from, I know him, I bought my laptop from him, bought my phone from him, what else did I buy? Um, I think that's it. And some other smaller accessories I bought from him. And this other person, the second person, I've not really used him before, but my partner uses him and he, the man likes to hype price. So he's giving me, he told me that it's 75,000 naira, so 10,000 naira difference. And I know that this second man just wants to eat money. So I'll just go to the guy that I know and I actually got my laptop from him to change battery. But I've said it before and I've said it again. When next I'm changing any of my devices, I am not going to buy any from Nigeria. God knows. The problems and problems that it comes with, I'm not going to do that. I'm done <laughs> buying devices and gadgets, especially fairly used here in Nigeria because when I got my laptop, it was fairly used. And right from when I got it, I started having problems, 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 small, 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 small. And when I buy, when I was in China, I buy my laptops in China, my phones, no issues, no problem. But coming to now buy it here in Nigeria, like, I'm not doing that again. I'm not. Oh, you guys, can we talk about the heat? Because I don't know how to draw my eyebrows, though. I need to actually sit down and learn how to draw my eyebrows because to me that is the most can you see <laughs> that is the most important part of makeup for me my eyebrows but I don't know how to draw them yikes yikes anyways Let's just put something on the eye today that we used to go out. But I really, really, really need to learn how to do my eyebrows. It's not bad, bad. It's not that bad today, now. When I now do one eye and I have to go do the second eye, it's not now equal. <laughs> oh, it is so hot. Second thing, guys, I need to go make my hair. First of all, I don't have wigs. I don't have good wigs. Uh, my hair is not properly made. I have to wear the wigs that I have, which I do not like. I don't think this wigs, none of these wigs suit my face. But I have to go out, so I have to wear these wigs. But I need to get my hair done. Because the heat that I am feeling in this wig, this wig on my head is something else. It is something else. The weather is really hot. Okay, the eyebrows are not bad today. The weather is really hot, so I just need to. Whew, I just need to get my hair done. So probably sometime within this week. It's one of the errands that I need to. I need to run. All right. Okay, I think I'm good to go. But before I step out, can we take a moment to talk about money? Money is a very, very sensitive topic. A very sensitive topic that 
most people don't like to talk about but I want to talk about money because I mean at my age I think about money a lot and I believe you too you think about money a lot either how to make money how to spend money how to pay a debt pay for something but just one thing related to money we all think about it and I've been thinking about money a whole lot because I have a lot of things I want to do with money right now and even just for the future there's this does this, I don't know if it's a quote or it's like a saying that was going on on social media for a while telling young people, it goes something like this that young people, people in their 20s want to be all successful in their 20s are aspiring for so much that it's not normal to be a multi-millionaire in your 20s it's not normal to be all successful what social media is showing you it is not normal and for a long time I actually completely believed and agreed with that that oh it's just social media and you are not supposed to be oh yeah in your 20s you're still supposed to be figuring life out you're not supposed to be all settled and financially stable and all of that but I no longer believe that anymore to a great extent my mindset has changed and that's because the people that were saying that and were using that to advise people in their 20s were judging based on not where ah they are judging based on the period of our parents in our parents time most of them became financially stable and settled maybe in their mid 30s or late 30s in their 20s they were still working hard and figuring out life but now a shift has actually happened i believe that a shift has happened and i see so many young people people in their 20s becoming successful having businesses and doing well for themselves and if people on social media and well people that think that they are wise have i put this down sound respectful <laughs> or not too rude but if people continue to believe that no 20s is just a time for you just go through the period you're just supposed to focus on what is in front of you things have changed if majority of people in their 20s are now being successful it means that it is no longer how it was in our parents time that you just sit down and say oh i'm in my 20s i'm just figuring it out as long as i believe that as long as people are working hard and are making it during their 20s it is possible and it should be attained. I know there was a time where we would call it pressure and say, oh, there is, it is pressure on young people to be successful. But now I think a shift has actually happened. And we as young people, as people in our 20s, when we see our peers um, do well early on, we should not look at it as, oh it is pressure or oh it is fake life although some of it might be fake life but we should not look at it in that way we should actually now look at it as a way to motivate ourselves and feel like it's actually possible for me to be successful in my 20s it's actually possible for me to be rich for me to be wealthy for me to start planning for my retirement in my 20s and this is the mindset i'm trying to used to view life now before i was i became a bit settled like oh i'm where i'm supposed to be i'm just supposed to be figuring out life and that just gave me an excuse to be lazy because the way life goes like you just close your eyes one moment and the next thing you know you are 30 years old you are 35 you're going to 40. like if you don't work and put in the effort nothing is going to happen to happen for you a lot of young people have realized that and early on they are beginning to work, build businesses and this is an advice to myself and to anybody out there who is young. When you see young people being successful, let it be motivation to you that you too can do it. I don't think it is, it is pressure anymore. I think that is the new standard, that is a shift that has happened and it will get to a point people will start saying that the 20s is the time for you to work hard and to build your career and to focus on making money and building no longer your 30s but i just believe that a shift has happened and we should 
adjust with it and no longer see it as pressure i don't know what you guys think about it just let me know in the comment section but it is a different mindset i have now and i want to and i'm gradually changing the way i view my life and money and everything like that by the grace of god i want to retire early i don't want to work for the rest of my life and if that means i have to spend my 20s grinding and working so hard so that in my late 30s i can retire then why not why not i'm all for quality of life i want to have good quality like i want my life to have quality i don't just want to live and years just keep passing by i want quality but yeah that's the mini heart to heart conversation so let me head out all right this is what i'm wearing i'm wearing cream and red is good i just opened my laptop and my battery is still full the problem i was having with my battery before this is my home screen problem i was having with my battery before was that it wasn't even lasting up to 15 minutes and it just dies down but yeah it is still full i charged it full yesterday night and i just put the laptop to sleep and this morning it is still full so that is good 